Patients frequently ask questions about whether aspects of their lifestyle influence their tendency to miscarry. Um, and the short answer is not that we realize in any scientifically uh, credible way. There's some early uh, burgeoning evidence that, that obesity could adversely impact fertility or early uh, pregnancy uh, maintenance. I want to emphasize that that science is not crystal clear with regard to recurrent miscarriage, but, but could well be a hot topic of investigation in the next uh, several years. Another area of medical care that I am involved in and uh, uh, try my best to, to make inroads in is um, that of uh, glucose intolerance in pregnancy. Most people recognize the term diabetes. I suspect the public, most people out there are now aware that um, gestational diabetes, which is diabetes diagnosed during pregnancy, is of growing concern in the United States, and it's directly linked to the obesity crisis, overweight obesity crisis, that m most people are aware of, I hope. At any rate, the more overweight or obese a patient is, uh, especially a somewhat older mother, the more likely she is to have glucose intolerance identified. Typically, patients will have um, testing a challenge of glucose with a subsequent blood draw to identify whether they can handle a glucose uh, bolus, an intake of glucose well, or whether they in fact have glucose intolerance, that is diabetes. Patients that have been pregnant before know that that's usually done around 28 weeks or so of pregnancy. But increasingly, uh, with overweight or obese patients, we're doing such testing earlier in pregnancy so we don't miss the diagnosis early in pregnancy. Uh, and I think that's most appropriate. What I would like to encourage uh, women who are considering pregnancy to get involved in is proper weight management and activity. Uh, one can't say enough about the benefits of uh, those things with regard to pregnancy and with regard to long-term health. So eating a reasonable uh, diet, uh, both in terms of nutritional status within the diet and in terms of total calories, is what we should be about in the United States. And um, uh, we are not there as yet. And being moderately active is incredibly important for long-term health and for the avoidance of glucose intolerance in pregnancy or the management of glucose intolerance in pregnancy. General recommendations would include 150 minutes of moderate activity per week. Uh, and I think um, even more moderate activity than that would, would be a good general idea. I like to remind patients that it doesn't have to be triathlon training type stuff. I mean, no, people won't do that. I wouldn't do that. We're really talking about figuring out a way to walk four or five miles a day as a part of your day, five or six days a week. And um, one might incorporate that into their travel to and from work or travel to and from childcare issues. One might incorporate that into a stroll at lunch or a stroll in the evening. But the concept is to be sure you're active enough to, to develop cardiopulmonary health and to maintain reasonable weight. And I'm here to tell you it's about four or five miles of walking a day or some equivalent.